But when you hear kidney stones, you probably don't think of kids. But new data says maybe we should. Over the last couple of decades, more and more children are being diagnosed with kidney stones. So much so, the Children's Hospital of Michigan has its own pediatric kidney stone clinic. Well, I visited that clinic to find out why more kids are developing kidney stones and what parents can do to help their kids avoid this painful condition. It's a summer day at Inglenook Park in Southfield, and four-year-old EJ and his big brother are hitting the playground. First the slide, then the swing bars, and then the tire swing. It's a busy day. How important is it to keep him hydrated? It's important for both of us to be hydrated, both my little brother and me. That sentiment is echoed by Dr. Jacobin Lakshmanan, Chief of Pediatric Urology at Children's Hospital of Michigan. He says drinking enough water is key to combating the heat and preventing a growing problem in children kidney stones. About 20 years ago is when we first noticed that there were more children showing up with stones. Kidney stones develop when minerals normally found in urine join together to form hard stones in the urinary tract. Studies show a dramatic rise in kids. A report in the journal Healthcare shows ER visits more than doubling. Before the trend was identified, the intense pain was often investigated as appendicitis or some other cause. One time we thought it was a hip pain, got some x-rays, and we found a huge stone. In adults, stones are more common in men. But the opposite is true in children. They're more common in teenage girls and may be linked to hormonal changes. Overall, experts say the rise is linked to two factors. One is this dehydration, uh, not drinking enough, and two is the increased salt in the diet. According to the CDC, roughly 90% of U.S. children between 6 and 18 years old consume too much sodium, most coming from prepackaged foods and restaurants. Another factor, heat. Increases in kidney stones are well documented in the Deep South. It's been called the stone belt. You see a lot more stones because of the hotter climates. But we've seen this all the way up in Michigan now. Oral antibiotics are also associated with an increased risk of kidney stones, with early and more recent pediatric exposure giving the greatest odds. So how can you identify kidney stones? Dr. Lachmanon says watch for sudden severe pain in the back or sides, nausea or vomiting, groin pain as the stone passes down the urinary tract, and blood in the urine. Though painful, smaller stones can pass on their own. Larger stones may need surgical removal, so prevention is key. That means reducing sodium intake and staying hydrated. Back at Inglenook Park, EJ's big brother says getting the four-year-old to drink water is easy. His advice? You always make it look like it's their idea to do it. That is great advice. Now, another way to fight kidney stones is by drinking lemonade. It contains inhibitors that can actually help dissolve the stones, but with lemonade, you have to watch your sugar intake. Now, kidney stones also have a hereditary element, so if your parents or grandparents have kidney stones, well, those kids have a higher risk of developing them. And once you do develop kidney stones, chances are you'll develop them again.